Possibly the most fun I've had with this AR-15 since I bought it. Uh, this is the Leopold VXR Patrol, and it's a 1.25 to 4. And this is like you know one of their budget scopes and all, but it has a fast focus eyepiece. It's uh, adjustable from one to four. Uh, about the only thing it didn't come with is a fast throw lever for this, but I'm pretty sure you can get that uh, as an aftermarket thing. It came with these little rubber caps, which I never really thought I'd be a fan of, but they're actually pretty nice. They keep, you know, they're quick. And once they're off, they're off and they're out of your way. So yeah, that was that was a ton of fun. I took my son out the other day and we were shooting to, uh, if I remember right, it was about 500 meters with this and it was no problem hitting this little tiny piece of rock about this big. And uh, then this time I was shooting to 282 and you can see I was going around like there's four rocks out there and I might have missed once or something. Uh, there was some marks on the rock underneath that white crack thing, but those weren't actually mine from shooting today. I filmed it like actually going down there, setting up and then shooting. And I'm just shooting off that, um, off that little old fence post there. And it, yeah, super, super accurate. Man, it, that was like, that was a hoot. So both my sons, uh, uh, my oldest, boy and my middle child um, they both love this scope my son uh, my youngest of the two he actually describes this as being like his arcade game video game kind of scope because of the reticle and the red dot and everything in it so it is a it is a TMR reticle with a circle I think that's about uh, four mil if I remember right 20 MOA roughly and then there's a red dot, which looks to be about a, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, it is. It's a fairly small red dot though, it's fairly fine. So, I mean, if you're hog hunting or uh, coyote hunting or whatever, you've got a little scope, you've got a little package here that'll reach out way the heck far. We've got this system with, I think, 110 MOA, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on the details. It's been a while since I put this on. and. You know, I've set it up on a worn uh, scale mount, LR scale mount, like this guy right here with the 30 MOA ring set, one piece ring set. And this has got a built in 20 MOA, so I've got lots and lots of elevation here. And we have yet to push it to its limit. You know, we're clearly seeing shots when we're taking them. And I chose a nice day. Well, it's, I can't really say it's actually a nice day because we have a major brush fire going near our town right now. And we actually just had a whole bunch of cattle killed today. so. Maybe not such a nice day, but I mean, it's a nice cooler evening. And by cooler, I mean like 27 Celsius. So we're not uh, totally cooking. And uh, I think we can see some good trace from the video. So I hope that worked out. But back to the setup here, I digress. I zeroed it at 100 meters and I threw a Lone Star uh, scope level on here. But my only complaint with this little $18 scope level is that they didn't they didn't like really finish it all that well. They could have thrown it in a tumbler just to take the the corners off and make it a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. But at the same time, anybody who has an ammo tumbler or whatever or a little bit of know-how, you could just take this little clip out, bring the level out, and then just like file it down if you really cared. I don't, uh, so I'm not too worried about it. But we've got this little $18 scope level. We got that off of Amazon. Like I said, this is a VX Farp. VXR Patrol 1.25 to 4 and this is their budget uh, ish scope it's a mill reticle mill dials 
and it's illuminated and it is a hoot. This is this is like this is actually more fun than my other rifles right now. So uh, this is the one that I'm really enjoying getting out. And we're just coming out here with some like run of the mill like federal bulk ammo. Um, it's the leftover stuff I've had for a few years now. And you can see it's shooting super, super well out of this Lewis Machine and Tool MRP. Um, I love this little gun. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I would like check around. I switched out the lower to a tighter fitting lower and I kept the upper because um, I wanted a closer fit between the, the two surfaces here. And it turned it into a hell of a shooter. It's, it's awesome. But I'm, you know, pretty much done setting this gun up. I'm not going to change anything unless I put a 224 Valkyrie barrel in it. But I don't know, like, if it's really worth it. I've taken this gun to 1,240 yards or, or rough 1,248, something like that. And it's shown itself to be super, super accurate even at that. I mean, you can hit a, hit a dinner plate at that distance if you're calling your wins right. And you're using a good bullet, like a Burger 70 grain VLD or something like that. Um, and you're going to, on the right days, on the right conditions, you're going to see that those hits even with this little little scope. Uh, we What else to say about this rifle? You guys have seen it before. We've set it up with the Trigger Tech trigger. Love this uh, this trigger. This this trigger made a huge difference to this gun. Uh, trigger Tech's pretty much my go-to now if it's a Remington or an AR platform. That's that's all I'm going to be running here until somebody comes up with something better, which I highly doubt. The ball bearing function roller in here that just I don't know how to explain it. It just makes this trigger like break like the proverbial glass rod. There is no creep. I mean, besides your your take up on this this two stage, and yeah, it just goes. And it's the same with the next gun that I'm going to pull out here and talk to you guys about too. Uh, but that's enough said for this, this scope. I'm not going to do a huge, you know, test on this thing. We've had it for a while now. We've had it out, uh, four times now and it's been a hoot every time. Uh, I like it a lot better than having like, you know, the bigger bell and stuff like that and having a bigger scope on here because it is a more, uh, functional scope for this kind of platform. This would be an excellent like three gun scope if you were jumping into something like that. And like I said, if you're varmint hunting or hog hunting or something like that, that's a, that's a really, really nice scope to go to. So what we're going to have come up in the next couple of videos here is we're going to be giving away this uh, Warren Tactical LR scale mount with 20 MOA. And this is a 30, 34 mil ring set unit. And uh, this is a beautiful setup. I've got my Leopold Mark 5, 5 to 25, sitting in one of these. And uh, the reason we're giving away one of these is because I hit my mark. I took my 6.5 Creedmoor out and took it out to 2,500 yards. And uh, finally got a hit on target in these horrible conditions that we're in right now. Uh, we have, it's, it's been a struggle, I'll, I'll say that. We have horrible smoke coming in from California and Oregon. I have actually a sore throat right now. But um, we did it anyway. We got out, we got repeatable results. And... Um, that's pretty much it for that project. I'm going to try and get some more footage making some shots like that at, you know, that distance and further when I'm back up in British Columbia and, uh, and show you guys that. But for now, we're pretty much done. You can't, unfortunately, you can't really see the hits on target, but I'll tell you more about the setup that we used. I think you guys are really going to want to hear that because it'll get you into ultra long range shooting on a, on a budget. And um, I think you guys will find that really useful. But in the meantime, we're going to do a giveaway with that video. And that's going to come out here in the next couple of days as well. Uh, maybe the same time. And uh, yeah, check out the Leopold VX, VXR. I want to always want to call it a VX4 for some reason. But um, yeah, great little setup. It is uh, only slightly Frankenstein. You know, Franken gun, sorry. Not down on my terms, I guess. Uh, yeah. Check out the Trigger Tech triggers. If you want one, we can get one for you. They are really, really nice. Ah, heck with it. I'm going to do a bit more shooting. We have a bit more ammo. Like I said, this is just bulk stuff. 